I have my Xbox One, Series X coming. It only took, well, when was it launched? November, mm -hmm. and I haven't been able to get one yet. And so finally, I actually had a friend text me, hey, Walmart has them available. I jumped on Walmart's website. And um, the thing was, is I had a really hard time. I actually had from Best Buy probably a month, it was right before Christmas. I had one in a cart, but I couldn't get it with the all access. That's how I wanted to buy it. You know, and I wanted to get on the pro, the quote unquote program, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, with included with the um, game pass and everything, the, you know, and um, cause I just, I don't know why I just, I thought, I think that's a better way to do it. Mm -hmm. So, but I was finally able to do it um, last week. I, actually, I was chilla. We were working and I was like, dude, I got one. So, you know, <laughs> Nice. Was it it, finally so um, i'm very much looking forward to it getting here it's supposed to be here february 1st in fact i got an email this afternoon that um walmart.com had shipped it so so this is and again the all access um you're paying a monthly fee you're not paying upfront costs like which was a 500 bucks for the series x right now right um so you do have an option of the series x or the series s is it um the 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 no disc version basically no disc not full uh 4k i don't believe i think it's 2k maybe um so so i mean this is this is something i've been looking at as well uh probably when i find myself buying a 4k uh tv i'll probably j finally jump on this uh but yeah it's so you're talking like 35 dollars a month you may already be paying 15 if you already have game pass um but you're i mean it's like it's only for the 24 months so yeah, it's, it's it's like buying an iPhone on your on your AT and T or Verizon plan these days. With your, exactly, yeah. that's exactly what it is. Yeah. So I mean, about the same price. I think I you know I, I trick out my phone, and uh, with whatever the high end you know uh, uh, sizes and everything, and uh, I, I I still think that was wait that doesn't work out. Wait, thirty five bucks. Oh, but you're also wait, paying for Game Pass because I'm like, wait a minute, this is yeah. like this is like a twelve hundred dollar phone, and I was paying about forty dollars a month. The, I don't, the math didn't compute for a moment there, but um, yeah, I think you're financing like eight hundred and some when it's all said and done because mm -hmm. it's you know the two years of Game Pass and then the 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 cost of the console. If you're somebody who does not that would like like maybe you need a new xbox or maybe you're looking to go over to xbox but don't want to up the cost um they they do also have a 22.99 dollar a month version that is for the xbox one s that is not the series xs stuff um it's basically the it's basically the most recent of the last generation um but again most of those games are going to play on there um, you can do that and you have the ability to upgrade uh in 18 months of doing that so that's an option too if you want to jump in on that and then and that's talking you know that's that's uh about seven dollars more than you're paying for game pass right now uh at 15 dollars a month if you're getting of course game pass ultimate so but uh no that's uh i think it's a cool deal and 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 other than getting it which has been a problem for all the consoles now <laughs> but you figured it out yeah right? exactly it's been a it's been a royal pain yeah i've tried many 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 times yeah. without success and i was very ecstatic to but, get but it's it not great on playstation either this is across the board right now there's just a lot of limitations so that's awesome so i'd like to hear how that goes and uh and your impressions when you finally get that in hand uh to, to test it out on so awesome. yep i'm looking I forward want, to it i want to hear about your load times <laughs> Yes, for sure. Listen, listen. I, I grabbed that five dollar Red Dead Online. It's like go make like go make dinner <laughs> when you boot this thing. I'll tell you. So and what what switched my mind and got me out of trying to get in line for the the new device was I got a I, I repurposed an old SSD. Mm -hmm. Um, and it has drastically changed mm. how my Xbox functions. Unfortunately, all the SSDs I have are like used. I have like two of them for my video recorder here in the studio. <laughs> That's it. Chill will remind me you're on the 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 newer One X, right? Yeah, I had the power supply problem. Mm -hmm. Right. That I couldn't find a, actually a replacement power supply for, and ended up finding like a refurb That's... randomly. 
because yeah, I had yeah. the original. I didn't have. I didn't have wh- which. Your original was what the founders. It was not Founders Day, but day one. Yeah. Day one. Um, mine was right around there, and uh, they had changed the connector on the power plug down the road and I couldn't, I had a hard, I have a, I had a hard time finding a new power cable. I got my Xbox secondhand via, what was it? What what are those, what are those apps where you can put stuff for sale before like, let let it go, let let it go or something like that. Yeah, no, I got it with that with a stack of games and I haven't played half of them over in Brookline here. Uh, so I have no idea <laughs> what my lifespan is going to be on this thing. I think I paid like 200 bucks for the entire package. Like he, the guy, like the guy wiped the, the Xbox in front of me after I handed him the money. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. It was an experience. Um, so I no, I, so I would not be surprised, knock on wood, that thing could go any day and I might be joining you on the all access with a series S or something. So, well, you know, my power supply did go bad. I don't know if you guys remember. Yeah. It was a, it was a couple months before the release of the next one. So I bought a refurb or whatever off of uh, Amazon. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm using the day one. Ed- you know, it is my day one edition Xbox. So nice. I've been on this console for seven years. Old trusty. Hey, those 360s still work great. Other than the drive, the disc drive kind of go went on one of them. Hell, the other. Right. I have a second 360 that toddy from the thrifty podcast uh gave me that he found like in the bin uh at the uh, goodwill outlet which means he may have paid five bucks for it <laughs> so because i can't remember is by the item or by the pound when I think it's by the it. pound it's by the pound you know how much is an xbox 360 weight it was just the unit just the unit. I I don't even I don't know where I got the second set of cores. I don't know if it came with it, but uh, yeah. And it's it, we have so that's why I have one here at the studio and one at home. So it's like all right, I got enough games on them, right? Um, nothing for a hard drive, but a- anyways, like so much that I couldn't update the Xbox to be usable because the drive included on it wasn't big enough. So <laughs> you could tell it was early. Um, anyways, let's go around there. Uh, Katie, what's your awesome thing? <laughs> 